Hey everybody, welcome back to another speaker upgrade video and in this episode we're looking at the little Dolly Oberon 3. It is one of their more inexpensive little bookshelf versions and it definitely is inexpensive. Well, sort of. The price is $8.99 a pair, so $900 plus shipping per pair. So, how's it made? Well... Pretty inexpensively, that's for sure. Let's look at some of the specifics real quick and then we'll take a look at the measurements. The box is a very lightweight, unbraced box um, made from MDF. And I wanna say looking at the front baffle, it's maybe 9 16 or 5 8 of an inch thick. Definitely not three quarter inch material. It's lined with a little bit of polyfill. The crossover, I don't know that you can see it in there, but it is all mounted on this little binding post cup, the whole thing, using the most inexpensive parts money can buy. I'm talking the little bitty dental floss gauge inductors that are all iron core inductors. There's one air core inductor on the tweeter, but the woofer inductor is a little, tiny little iron core inductor, all sand cast resistors, all electrolytic capacitors, so the cheapest of the cheapest of the cheapest parts you can buy. Super cheesy. The woofer, nice comb material. I really like this comb material, but the frame is definitely stamp still frame. So one tweak, you might want to put some, some little damping strips across the back of the frame and try to do away with a little of the frame ringing. Other than that, um, it's not a bad little driver. And like I said, I do like the material. Let's get into, how did this thing measure? Let's look at the frequency response of this thing. We'll throw that up and let you look at that. Frequency response is a little hot on top. It's a little rough and right around 800 hertz or so, seven to 800, I guess it's around six to 700. There is a bit of a hump in the woofer's response there. There's a little bit of, of ringing right there. And so, it's a little bit of an unbalanced response. If you look at it now, this response, oh, this is a good one. You're thinking, what the heck is that? What happened there? Well, that's what it looked like with the grill on. And the grill snaps into these four positions and it kind of stands up off of the speaker a little bit. It looks nice, but it's a disaster with the grill on. Um, impedance dips to 4.1 ohms. So any of you guys thinking about buying these and hooking it up to something, keep in mind your receiver is probably not gonna like it because it's it's a four ohm load. Um, vertical off axis um, shows the drivers start to get um, a little bit out of phase as you move up, but not bad. Horizontal off axis looks pretty good. The crossover point's really high. So this little woofer's having to carry the load for quite a, quite a ways, which was a little bit of a surprise. Spectral decay looks pretty clean all but that one spot in the woofers um, range there, that little peak that I was telling you about, there's a little bit of stored energy there, but overall, the spectral decay looks pretty clean. So, what was I gonna do with these things? I thought, man, let's see if we can fix that peak in the woofers response. If I can fix that, the rest of it will look really easy, real, really good, it'll be easy to tweak. And so here's the new on-axis response. Um, pretty flat all the way across. I softened it a little bit um, where the drivers are overlapping just a little. Uh, here's the crossover response you can see. I pushed that crossover down as low as I could with this tweeter. It's about 2500 hertz, uh, which is better than where it was. If you look at the impedance, it, it dips to now about 3.1 ohms. There's a little bit more of a dip, but it's just in one area there where I had to put that notch filter to get rid of that peak in the woofer's response, which really helped. If you look at the spectral decay, you'll see not only did I notch it out um, on the balance there, but some of that stored energy is gone as well. So that part looks a lot better. So spectral decay now is super clean. Uh, vertical off axis uh, still looks a little rough. As you go up vertically, the drivers are not staying in phase really well. And in the horizontal off axis, there's a lot of surface reflection that this tweeter is not liking it. For some reason, it's really strong in the off axis. 
right there in that area. So it's a little hot in the in the off axis. So I'm not real enthused with what I was able to do with it vertically and horizontally, but the overall balance on axis looks pretty good. It's definitely a lot smoother than it was and it was really being held back by those cheesy crossover parts. So a new upgrade on this thing. It's going to include some all new parts, much higher quality, uh, larger air core inductors for the woofer, um, sonic caps in the tweeter circuit there on the tweeter is the, there's a third order filter now on the tweeter. Um, Ursi poly caps in some of the other capacitor positions. Uh, good quality resistors now, no more of the cheesy stuff. And let's see, what do we come up with? A total uh, for all the new crossover parts, all new wiring, a uh, set of tube connectors, which will do away with the, the cheesy ones that are on the back of this binding post cup, and a sheet of no res, which this thing really needed the sheet of no res. It's not much there on the cabinet wall. So all that came to $390. And 65 cents so if you guys own this little budget speaker here and you're realizing wow it really was a budget speaker and you want to take this thing up to a level of what you may have expected when you bought it then the crossover upgrade that we're providing for this should do the trick for you it should bring the levels uh, performance levels up considerably compared to what was there this is going to be a big transformation so um that's it on this one. Uh, and I know I've been asked by you guys a bunch, and I see it in the comments section. Will you will you review this speaker? Will you look at that speaker? Or what what do you, guys? I just take a look at whatever sent in. Whatever you guys send me is what I uh evaluate. So if you're interested in me doing your whatever speakers, send one of them in. Um that's it for this episode and We'll see you again in the next one. Hit the subscribe button, guys, if you would. And see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.